I turn crisp packets into blankets for the homeless. This is my new thing. It's a crisp packet sleeping bag. 300 crisp packets. Something simple as a crisp packet can help save lives. You look after yourself, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> I've been asking the people when they send in their beautiful crisp packets to write a little lovely note on there with something uplifting. I volunteer for a lovely charity. We're always running out of blankets and sleeping bags. A biffy bag goes outside your sleeping bag. This is five crisp packets by 15. So you've got 75 instead of a sleeping bag lasting a week or maybe just one night out in the weather, a biffy bag will protect it for weeks. And it's a, like a one second rule and then it's fused. I've got groups of people in different communities, again up and down the country, making these for their own communities. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more. <laughs> Not just people that are actually living on the streets, people that live in houses that can't afford to actually heat their flats. So now we're going to put the plastic on and then what we do is we join them all together. From start to finish on a biffy bag it takes four hours roughly. So you see new faces all the time and it's just something just to protect them a little bit. Hey, Stop crazy. crying in a minute. Pretty much every day I have a crisp packets posted to me throughout the whole UK. The most insulated crisp, ready salted, cheese and onion. These ones are the best. <laughs> the worst ones that don't get washed are prawn cocktail or cheesy. <laughs> cheesy ones! Reflects the heat, so it reflects your body heat. So when you're cold, you're reflecting your heat back into yourself. So we're going to join them together now. We start at the feet, always start at the feet. Any holes or any bits that haven't been fused, we need to double check both sides. Well, you want these to last when they're on the streets. One, two, three, and just that small amount of holes makes such a difference to get rid of the condensation build-up. It's not a lifestyle choice, this. It's a survival thing. Right, so this is the moment of truth. Well, no, this is just a test that we haven't left any holes. Good? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, I think it's amazing that we can help someone in need who hasn't got anything. But people come and go down the seafront. There's a few tents down there. Hopefully we'll find someone. So we're just handing out one down to a chap down here in a tent. Hello. Are you all right? Can I give you one to keep you a bit warmer? All right, honey. Will you keep yourself warm? That. There you go. Thank you. All right, bless you. Thank you Take care. All right, can I have a huddle? Bless you. You look after yourself, right? Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Anything to help them to keep them warmer, especially with this wind as well. It's bitter at the moment, especially down by the seafront. Bringing communities together to help each other, it's just epic that something simple as a crisp packet can help save lives, help the environment and bring people together. Just amazing.